The Netherlands is a small, mostly flat country located on the North Sea coast of the European mainland. This nation is the densest inhabited in Europe, not taking into account microstates, with a population of 17.5 million people. Known for their highly developed economy and rich cultural heritage, the Dutch have a lot of pride in their infrastructure and transportation. As such, the Netherlands is known for being home to some of the most beautiful trucks in the world, with a strong individual trucking culture that has influence on an international stage. With roughly 150,000 truck drivers employed in the country, this partially reclaimed nation takes great joy in the transport of goods. Welcome to the third episode of Trucking World, the Netherlands. The road network of the Netherlands is currently the 41st largest in the world, totaling 139,000 kilometers in length, almost all of which is paved. In 2019, the World Economic Forum ranked the quality of Dutch infrastructure as the best in Europe, and only second to Singapore when taking into account the entire globe. Within the country, there are a total of 3,530 kilometers of motorways and expressways, 5,200 kilometers of national roads controlled by the Ministry of Infrastructure and Water Management, and 7,800 kilometers of provincial roads which are controlled by individual provincial governments. The remaining roads in the system are mostly municipal and controlled by smaller city governments. Despite multiple entities having control over different areas of the network, Dutch roads are pretty uniformly pleasant to drive on as the country places an extreme financial emphasis on their maintenance and safety. One of the more notable safety measures initially employed in the late 90s is traffic calming. This practice saw road speed limits reduced by around 20 km an hour depending on road type, and the inclusion of more roundabouts, which has had various benefits. Outside of safety, one of the main pluses being a more consistent flow of traffic. Though reducing traffic speed may seem counterintuitive to the efficient flow of a road network, slower speed limits actually allow for an average higher speed as stop-and-go traffic can almost be entirely avoided. In some areas, mostly motorways, the government has introduced variable speed limits, which can be altered depending on the amount of traffic on the road, so even during rush hour, consistent movement is achievable. Heavy vehicles with a total weight of more than 3.5 metric tons are capped to a maximum speed limit of 80 km an hour in the country, only permitted on motorways and expressways. Legally, trucks over the weight threshold are required to have a speed limiting device installed to prevent them from going over 90 km an hour. Considering the location of the Netherlands, you won't be surprised to find out that almost all trucks on Dutch roads are from European manufacturers. All of our favorite brands like DAF, Scania, Volvo, Iveco, MAN, Renault, and Mercedes can be found here, many of which are beautifully maintained with bright, vibrant colors and plenty of exterior lighting. These trucks are renowned globally for a reason, and truckers from around the world have taken much inspiration from these immaculate Dutch beasts. Open pipe modifications have become quite popular in the Dutch trucking scene, and though this is the case in much of Europe, many will argue that the Dutch do it best. The legality of these modifications is somewhat up for debate, and considering the environmentally focused nature of the Netherlands, it's safe to say that these trucks might not be around for much longer. Agriculture is currently the largest sector in the Dutch economy, accounting for 21% of all exports annually. Since the Netherlands lays claim to a quarter of all natural gas reserves in the EU, natural gas composes a large segment of the economy, though this sector is in decline as the country has resolved to decrease their production. Other important industries include the chemical industry, metallurgy industry, and tourism. Despite the expansive and efficient Dutch rail network, trucks are still responsible for transporting around 82% of all goods domestically, somewhere around 572 million metric tons worth. Internationally speaking, much of Dutch exports go to Germany, Belgium, France, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The Netherlands' European exporting partners receive freight mostly by truck, but rail still plays a large role in the exporting of goods. On average, Dutch truck drivers make somewhere around €44,000 a year, which is the seventh highest salary in the world, and only a few euros behind the German average. Drivers here are limited to a maximum of 13 hours working in a 24-hour period, nine of which are spent driving. However, this can be extended up to 10 hours no more than two days a week. With a limit of 60 hours working over 6 days per week, once this amount of time has been worked, truckers are required to take a 45-hour rest period, which can be shortened to a minimum of 24 hours depending on the circumstance. As the Netherlands complies with EU truck standards, articulated trucks are kept to a maximum total length of 18.75 meters and a maximum weight of 50 metric tons. 
Long combination vehicles, also known as LCVs, are limited to 25.25 meters in total length, with a higher maximum weight of 60 tons. These vehicles come in various combinations, and were initially introduced in 2012 as they help to more efficiently transport goods, and lower the carbon emitted per kilogram of cargo. Dutch truckers are known for being incredibly skilled, as the average day entails many narrow roads, tight corners, and difficult backs. The density of the Netherlands may seem daunting to the unfamiliar trucker, but the slower pace and generally calm attitude of other drivers provides a great environment for both newer truck drivers to learn the ropes and talented truck drivers to flaunt their skills. Whichever group a Dutch trucker may find themselves in, their contribution to the economy is not unnoticed, and they deserve all of our thanks for keeping the wheels of the Netherlands economy turning. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more trucking content. Let me know what country you'd like to see covered next, and feel free to check out this channel's Discord linked in the description below. Thanks again and goodbye.